Prophet Nanapoku has a lot of things to say, and I guess uh, for some of us, we are going to be going over there to listen in on what's being said. What's new? Does Nanapoku have something else? Yeah, it looks like Nanapoku had something to say for ZCC people, <laughs> which is very <laughs> So we're going to play that video right now. And I have it set up right here. And so it's a video, I think it was made on the 15th. Uh, so it's about two days back. And so I saw it because they posted a short version of it. And so I went back to look for what kind, what video was they, what video was it where it was published. And I found that there was this video here. And so at around... 20 minutes, this is where he actually starts talking about <laughs> what not to follow, what to follow. And so, this is the reality show, daily Christian commentary videos. Other episodes done, today they'll be done in the big comments and check them out. To say that they are worth watching is an understatement. And so, go over there, I'm sure you will find something. This is what Nana Poku had to say. Things from the childhood. This morning is uh, start your mm. day with Christ, yes. Start your day with Christ. Okay, so start your day with Christ, okay? Start your day with Christ. When you start your day with Christ, everything is normal. Don't start your day, your day with Muhammad. You always put your anus on top of the uh, 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 top. Don't what? Don't start your day with Muhammad because you always... So I guess maybe he means like when they pray, they bend over and... But the way he puts it, hey, nah, 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 man. Don't go to ZZC. Okay. And say, like, a Nyani is a father. No. You put your leg on the ground, your leg will pay. Don't you see all the ZZC people? Their waist are stressed. They are pounding. This, uh, the earthquake that happened in Turkey, <laughs> they say it's their leg. Hey. Nana Poku number one. Nana. Somebody I'm watching from Botswana. And if they come for you, <laughs> it's just to see people see this video where you are talking like this. Oh, come! They'll ask questions. You know, say to the people, they don't, they don't, they don't take two days. No, 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 the same day. And so Nana Poku says they mustn't be going to this. So they must start their day with crap. now. For just to see people, I'll come back. Ne? Just in a second, um, I want us to consider. Nana Poku's position of doctrine. Okay, we want to listen to Nana Poku's position of doctrine so that we can hear. Let's see, people. Maybe you guys need to fix your theology, guys. Maybe you guys should work on your teachings. At around um, 23 minutes, this is the things that Nana Poku had to say to his followers and stuff. Mm -hmm. It can never go. When you mention a Flukawi name, you see only gasket. You know, okay, Peter, you know. <laughs> Oh, he messed up. He so he was talking about the messes of other people and mistakes. Mess up. And that thing has become his name forever and ever. Okay, wait. Let's go back. You see somebody's name. <laughs> you see? <laughs> you are clearly a gasket. <laughs> I have to go. He messed up. Oh. So, <laughs> Nana Boku was just, was just calling out. He was just listing them. So he, he says, hey, Alf, look how his mistake. That entire thing of the, uh, of the coffee and stuff. He mess up. Mm. He mess up. And that thing has become his name forever and ever. Mm. Mm -mm, it can never go. When you mention a Flokawi name, you see Coffee. only gasket. You know, Peter, you know, it's not funny. God must forgive us. This work is not easy. It's easy if you follow the Bible, Nana Poko. If you just follow the Bible. If you don't do extras, okay? If you just follow what the Bible puts out. It is easier because it is him that is instructing you. The Bible tells you how to do your things. This one is not easy. Sometimes. You feel like working for God. But I study the Bible. One guy was trying to work for God. God struck him. He died at the same time. He's talking about the guy who tried to hold the, 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 um, the thingy when it was falling over. So if you're a man of God, the work of God is not by force like, no, become a prophet. Prophet is a gift. Mm -hmm. But the other day you were giving it. Ah, no, no, no. We have probably some of have, we know five ministry, but the gift of uh, uh, the Bible is a lot. It's more than twelve. But now because of money, what you eat, I'm being honest mm -hmm. here. 
Even me, I was hungry before I came here. Okay. Because of what you eat, ne? it makes us not tell the church members truth. Oh, okay. <laughs> so y'all can be lying, Nana. Hmm? So are you saying this people are lying as well? Are you saying half look how it's like? Which one? Is, be clear. <laughs> Speak freely, brother. <laughs> yeah? And that would. <laughs> Nana Foku was in rebuke mode. <laughs> He's correcting, no. This one is wrong. <laughs> because of competition. Okay. If you can stand in the process, then we are selfish. Mm. And we are mm. So, oh, oh okay. Mm. You Gritty. don't know the secret. This is the secret. When Busili was here, it was a big challenge to South Africa, the whole South African pastors. Mm. It was a big challenge. Mm. When Bushili came, the Bushili put pressure on South Africa church. The secret is here. So it became a challenge. So if you can see, those who are big, they, are, they were going down. Mm -hmm. Because Zonda was very big in South Africa before Bushili came. When Bushili came, because Zonda name was still there. But the name Bushili covered everyone. I'm telling that nobody must put me wrong. Mm -hmm. Even Bushili bring challenge. So all of us, when we are working there, eh, we are working and follow Bushili to be there. Okay. Now, I want to address this. The problem with you guys is that you, are, you want crowd. You see, what Nanapoku is describing here is an audience of crowd. You are, you are following where you're going to get the crowd. And that's the problem. It's, you're no longer saving God. You are saving the crowd. And let's be clear here. The crowd is not necessarily born again. That's why he says, a few go through the narrow gate. And so, wh where is the few? Non-entertainment. And so, if, there's, if the crowd is following Zondo, and then the crowd is following Bushiri, and you look at those people, those people, they don't care about church. Bushiri leaves, they no longer go to church. They are, where are they now? They were unbelievers. They were there for themselves. They served themselves. Maybe some of you sell your souls to, to the devil so that you can get this. Maybe some of you, you sell yourself so that you can get this audience. And once the devil promises you that, he's not giving you believers because he's not control of believers. The people you are describing, that you people are competing for, are unbelievers. Angry you want to make money. So now you, how can Satan promise you believers? No, he promises you are non-believers. That's non faith. So the people that he's talking about, that's the problem. The problem is you want unbelievers. Believers are not going to follow your gimmicks. The one person I challenge in the world is Bushili. Bushili and Bishop Zondo. That is mm. all. I don't have anybody in the world. Listen to me. So as it become a, 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 a more distant mm -hmm. challenge, Listen, Africa, me when you watch me, I don't care. And he, he can give the letter to Solomon, not me, Nanapoku. <laughs> He's talking about suing. <laughs> That's right, because I'm not offended. He is the one who offended me. Mm. And I'm not talking bad because me, it's what he did. If I talk bad or I don't talk bad, I don't care. He you did it. Put a gasket. <laughs> it's a social. You know that time I was in China, eh? and China people were laughing at me. I said, hey, <laughs> The fake miracle, the, the Funko miracle that Chinese are rejected, that means it's nothing. Listen, it was a Bushili know. Bushili he knows. Africa who knows. Bishop Zondo knows. Minanapoka know. Which pastor? Who didn't get impression when Bushili was in South Africa? Mm -hmm. Yeah, now I've said that before. Now, you guys, you can go watch the video. He posted it on his Facebook page on the 15th of July, just in case you want to know where I got the video or where I'm watching the stream from. That's where the video is. It's on Facebook and stuff. And so the thing that he's talking about of Bushiri's thing, I've said it before. Bushiri gets a lot of people who are tech savvy, who are smart. You remember how when we heard about how he grew his pages and stuff like that, how much money they spent, promotions and what? He gets a lot of people that are in the industry or people that can get him the knowledge or the know-how of getting around. 
And so as a result of that, he is able to capitalize on that and be the most popular and stuff like that. So the point here is you people are looking at the wrong thing. So you see what Nanapoku was just saying right now, the things that he is mentioning right now are things that are carnal. You're looking at the audience. You're, you're, you're trying to gauge and, and all these things and see how to get a hold of this audience. That's the people you are fighting for or trying to get are unbelievers. You know? Yeah. I, I, don't, I just wonder if you know, this is... <laughs> they'll be there commenting. <laughs> I have They'll come visit you on your Facebook page there. <laughs> they are very comment, very commentative. They have social data. They buy social data. This one. And so they are all. But for these people, Nanapoku is now calling you out. Imagine. Nanapoku is now calling out these people. Hey! Father. <laughs> I know that I'll see the day. <laughs> it's not good. He said, no, you did bad. You did bad. He says, don't go there all the way to thingy and then say that you and call and say he's your father. No, it didn't start the day with Jesus. You know, I guess that's what the Bible means when it says that whether by strife or what, the gospel is still preached. I found this video quite interesting. I wanted to bring it to you guys. It's Rick Shiaren Show, the daily Christian commentary videos. We've done multiple videos on this particular subject of ZCC, the doctrine of ZCC, the subject matter of hell, when it, heaven, when it comes to ZCC. And those, it, you can check on the page, you'll see those particular videos on how this stuff is deceptive and it's far from the truth. You can check the comments. I'll put it as the first comment if you haven't seen the video of us talking about the heaven view of ZCC, which is just not biblical. And so, y'all tell me what you think. Even Nanapoku is rebuking ZCC people. Ha! Guys, get your theology in order, please.